This is John Paul Rye. I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan, and today I want to talk about Malin Manson and his accusers, and also Colonel Kurt, so I'm going to give a shout out, and also I'm going to link her channel below, because Malin Manson's defense is going to be using one of her videos officially, and we see that in a court document. So, we're going to talk about that too. But first, I want to say just a little thing about the accusers, is that the more accusers that come out, that have no tangible, physical, definitive evidence, the more shady it gets. And I say that because let's assume five women come out and they've got no evidence. Okay, maybe five women don't have evidence. Let's say 10 come out. Well, when 10 come out, that raises the odds that somebody should have evidence. Okay, let's say 17 come out, which is, I think about, What's out right now? Well, you're telling me out of 17 people, nobody's got any videos of him acting wild, no audio of him getting crazy, no pictures that are undeniably him, that he doesn't deny of things going on that's abnormal, airtight witnesses that are reliable, not just their friends and other people in show business and things like that, like real reliable witnesses who witnessed these events, not just their version of them or things they heard. So now let's say 50 women came out. I think most people would be like, oh my God, 50 women. How could 50 women be wrong? But I would say, how could 50 women not have evidence? It doesn't make sense that the more people come out, the less evidence there is or the same amount of evidence there is. That's just probability to me. Now I will throw out a disclaimer. I'm not saying I'm 100% convinced he didn't do anything, but I think his statement, what he said was, whatever happened was consensual. So he's not actually denying some things beyond the normal nocturnal activities happen. What he's saying is, you know, these girls were into this stuff and it was consensual. To prove it isn't really seems tough. And a lot of people, you know, message me and email me, and they're like, well, how could you defend Malin Manson? And I'd say I'm half defending him. What I'm saying is, without the evidence, I can't just get on board and say, he's guilty, he's guilty. What most people send me is texts based on what people think about his books and his writing and his music. Here's the thing. From what I understand, a lot of his books and songs have ghostwriters, meaning he didn't write them. He gets someone to write them who's creating this character for him, and that's how it goes. I don't know full details, so I can't be quoted on it, but that's what I heard. A lot of writers and famous people have ghostwriters. So when I heard that, I was like, ah, okay. So if you're blaming his book about things he did, but he didn't actually write the book, now you're getting down more of a slippery slope of blaming him. Let's take a look at the tweet Colonel Kurtz gave about Malin Manson actually using her video. So here's my retweet and she says, so awesome that my channel was cited and linked in Malin Manson's recent court filing. The YouTube link below is my interview with Paula West or Paula West, excuse me if I'm saying that wrong. And Paula West is an ex-girlfriend of Malin Manson who's saying the things she's hearing are completely the opposite of the person she knows. So that leaves the question, are people vastly different with different partners? And this is one of Amber's defenses against Johnny, is that, well, he was really different with me than Winona Ryder. He was a different person. That's Amber's defense. And another reason I have a hard time trusting Evan Rachel Wood especially is because she defended Amber Heard. Huge negative red flags. And here's a little closer look. These individuals, including plaintiff, spent months plotting, workshopping, and fine-tuning their stories to turn what were consensual friendships and relationships with Warner from more than a decade ago into twisted tales that bear no resemblance to reality. Without a shred of evidence to support their claims, plaintiff and her co-conspirators are desperately trying to conflate the imagery and artistry of Warner's shock rock stage persona, Marilyn Manson, with fabricated accounts of abuse. 
With approximately two months of filing this case, plaintiffs Screwless allegations, I have never seen that word before, gonna keep going. Concerning the groupie video have already been publicly disproven. C, the actress from the video gave a public interview establishing, contrary to plaintiff's allegations, the video was a make-believe horror film, she was 21 years old when she acted in the film, she was paid for acting services, and she is very much alive and well to this day, and there is the link, of course, to Colonel Kurt's video. What the heck is that word? I'm going to get hit on this one in the comments. Okay, let's keep going. Well, there you have it. Colonel Kurt's video is actually going to be used in court as a legal defense against these people accusing Marilyn Manson. Now, the other person I always keep in mind is Jeannie Larson, who, as you know, started the Remove Amber Heard from Aquaman 2 petition. Now, what she said is this. Let's just wait. Before you guys publicly say bad things, about Marilyn Manson, like Io Tillett does, just wait till it all plays out and see what they got. And at this point, they don't have evidence. So with zero evidence, I'm gonna say, nah, let's wait and see guys, let's see what happens. Because there's greater things going on here, like Io Tillett and probably you know who, saying Johnny did so much cocaine with Marilyn Manson and they were out of their minds at the UK trial. Is that a coincidence? Or was that foreshadowing to maybe make Manson look bad, this thing coming up? I don't know. I don't trust them as far as I could throw them. And I can't throw them very far because I'm in Japan and they're all the way out there in the West or whatever. Anyway, you guys, let me know what you think down below. If you're 50-50 on Manson and you just need more details, you can't decide, definitely check out Colonel Kurtz. She does have balance. She says similar things to me that, you know, some things he did on stage and wrote in his book or let out in his book could be an indicator of something. It's not meaningless, but it's not actually evidence you could use in court. That's what I'm trying to tell people. I get it. There's weird things in his book that, you know, match up kind of strange with reality, but that doesn't mean that's evidence or proof in any way. It just means it's his book and it's at face value. It's not real. You can't touch it. You can't feel it. You can't hear it. You can't see it. So can't be used. You guys, let me know what you think down below. Let me say a few words about the channel. Quick shout out to Carla Ellis, Lotus Flower, and Cindy Bryden sending me some great articles all the time. Also, got a GoFundMe that's on $500, saving up for a new PC. If you don't like Go find me, you can donate to the channel by PayPal. I got that too, all links down below. If you're not subscribed here, consider it. I'm doing shout outs, special thanks, things like that. If you don't subscribe, well, I guess it'll be sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.